All right, so I'm here with the CF-19. We've re just removed the bottom cover. This exposes your memory, your Wi-Fi card, your CMOS battery, your modem card, your SD card slot, your battery connector, this part here which allows the battery to be read and charged through the port, your WWAN card, your 3G card, and under the 3G card you have your audio board that has your microphone and your headphone jack. And then here we have our DC jack, VGA, and serial port board. This is your docking, uh, your dock connector, and then this is removable. And in this, this video clip, I'm going to show you how to remove <clears throat> your WWAN card. What I like to do is, first I remove the battery, the hard drive, and now this leaves me the space in here to work on it. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. And this is where we'll be working here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. All right. Hopefully that's in focus. I can't really see it up there. We're going to use a, I believe this is a number zero screwdriver. And I have a magnet on it just so that my screws stick to it. So the first things that we're going to remove are this little rubber seal here the brown and the black wire and we're going to disconnect this ribbon cable and to do so I'm using a plastic pry tool you can get these on eBay for pretty cheap so what I do is just my fingernail and my fingers to remove this little square foam gasket seal and all this does is it just holds these these wires from moving around freely <clears throat> but then I take the flat end of my pl plastic dry, uh, pry tool, excuse me, and just gently lift away on it. You don't want to force it out too much because then you can go, you can bend the pins. There's pins in the connectors for the 3G card, so I just move these out of the way. Pry the lock upwards. Stick the pry tool under the ribbon cable and then it'll force it out. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be weird. And under this plastic flap we have a screw and we have a total of four black screws that we are supposed to remove in order to remove this card. Now before I go ahead and remove this card or while I am removing the screws, I would like to mention that there is a Bluetooth wire that runs under this board and actually is clipped on and connected to the bottom of this board. So when removing this board, we want to be very careful so that we do not rip the head off of that Bluetooth. So now that I've got the four screws out of the way, I'm going to lift it up and away from me so that we expose this Bluetooth wire here. You see that blue one? So then what we do here is we st I stick the pr plastic pry tool underneath the head that connects to the board. Just gently pry that up. Now you can go ahead and grab the wire and remove it from this connector here. So that's the removal of the WWAN card and of course to reapply this after you get your new one uh, assuming you're going to replace this you first connect the Bluetooth wire clip it at the bottom assure that your ensure that your wires are out of the way insert your your SIM card slot first and then just drop it in and then there are two pins that align your board here and here so once you line those up it'll it'll be easy okay so then the first thing I like to do is before I actually drop it in is connect this ribbon cable it makes it a lot easier so you just connect it you just gently push down on it and ensure that it's that it's in there use your flat end of the plastic pry tool gently push down on it and then you'll hear it click so you go ahead and slide that on there make sure that it's lined up and then I'm not installing these screws all the way through but I'm going to be removing them again 
So then you just put your screws back in. Okay. Get the pry tool to pick up this plastic so you can get under there. Okay, so once that is in there, you just run your wires through again. The black wire connects to the white arrow. You just simply line them up and gently push on them. These clip in, they click in very easily, so do not force them or you'll bend the pins. Well, there it is, the removal and reinstallation of your 3G card. Thanks for watching.